Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. All right, time to finish Steve's knife. Let's get on it. Here we go. How's it going? Welcome back. All right, so let's get the rest of this grind finished out. I'm basically going to do a time lapse on it. If you go back... Let me interrupt here real quick. First off, I just want to say sorry about the live stream Sunday. Man, everything was working, and then I turned it on, and everything just... And echoing, and man. I think I might have it figured out, because usually I'll leave it up, the live stream up, and I'll leave the sound on. So I think that was creating a loop. So hopefully I can get that taken care of. The live stream is actually called Losing Focus. And that's what I've been doing a lot lately. You know, this whole thing about building up more comments and passing a thousand subs and getting everyone to subscribe and like and all that. I've been so focused and caught up in that. I've been losing focus on making good knives and making good content. So I just want to say, Chris Sayers, the knife is yours. And if you guys aren't happy with that, I'm sorry. I should have never made all those rules just to try to get more people to comment and more people to interact. I really appreciate all your support. And if you want to unsubscribe, I understand. I really hope you don't. But if you unsubscribe, I have a feeling you're here for the wrong reasons anyway. All right, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Let's get back to the video. Go back, I'll put the last video up here where I grind the first bevels and all that. I'm basically just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna make the bevel thinner and go up to like 240. So it's a lot easier just to do it in time lapse. And hopefully we can get to the handles. And hopefully I'll have this new song finished for the slow motion. So let's see how it fits. <laughs> all right, let's get the Dykem on. Here we go. All right, so in that time lapse, I went and put the carbide guide on here, but the problem with it, to get this angle, I had to be like this. But to bring this hollow, I had to curve it around like this. So what I did is I held it here. You know, I had the belt hanging over a little bit on each side, you know, hanging over this side, and I brought it up to there, and I straightened into here, and straightened into here. And then I took the guide off and brought it down just right to here and straightened it out. Now what I want to do is put a J-Flex out. I don't know if this is going to work. I've never tried it before. But I've told you in the past that a J-Flex will mess up this curve. So I'm going to put the J-Flex belt on. You can see the different grind patterns, how I was switching up to try to get it right. 
Like some of them go this way, some of them go this way. Once I get the chain flex belt on there, I'm gonna have to make sure it's all one movement. You know, I'll have to hang it over a little bit, but I only wanna bring it up to here. I don't wanna bring it all the way up because that'll take out my curve. All right, let's try this. I'm gonna do it in real time too. All I have is a 120 and a 240 J Flex. I think I got some other 320s back there than J Flex, so let's see if this works. Uh, order some more, but if it doesn't, then I'll just have to go home crying. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. Now remember, we're only going up to here. And we're gonna hang it over and be careful. Now, you'll notice my hand over here is on the blade because other than right here, everything else is lifted. I don't want to mess it up because then I'm going to come back and I'm going to blend these in. So, at least that's the theory. I'm gonna put those carbide things back on, see if they help. All right, here goes nothing. Well, if I had two good hands, it would help. This side's pretty good. This side, I just can't get the, that. <laughs> so, Trizac are kind of in between, and they're about a 400. Let me see what the Trizac does to it. So this should at least help with the blending. 
That's not, if we can get it to blend in, that shouldn't be too bad. At least it's straight. Well, at least show us what we need to do. This side, we're almost perfect. Got a little bit up here. But this side, <laughs> we still got all this to bring down. We got that big facet right there we got to fix. So let me put that 120 belt on. We'll fix this facet and tighten it all up. I got one spot there I got to go back down and get and right here see how it's much easier I can just hold my hand flat there and go but here I, I have to kind of go with it so all right I mean I could guess it's just hard to get this arm to <laughs> oh look at that I just scratch it with my fingers that's one thing about high satin finishes OCD OCD I gotta do my Instagram pictures. I can't have any scratches like that. <laughs> All right, I'll be back tomorrow. I hope we can get started on these handles and stuff. All right, we're back. So I got it here. There's still some imperfections and stuff. I gotta fix up on the blade. But for now, I'm gonna start on the handles. If you haven't seen me do the handles, I'll put a video up here of the karamba and how I do it. And even though these are, I'm going to epoxy these on, it's going to be the same idea up until the finish. So I'm just going to put one side on, drill it, put them both on, drill all the way through, straight through. And then we're going to put them on pivots and shape them. Now I had a lot of guys asking me about pivots and I get mine from MCS and this isn't a, a sponsored ad or nothing, but this is how they come. Just in a little package. This is like 30 of them. And then I get the black button head screws, torque screws, a hundred for like 14 bucks. So we're shipping us a little bit under 50 bucks for 30 pivots and then a hundred of the screws. Though if you look, I always save like my messed up screws or bad ones that I don't like just for projects like that. And this just to hold these handles on. The one inch can twist are perfect to hold everything in place, drill it, and then we'll open it up, put the other piece and drill it through. All right, let's get to the time lapse and get these all drilled up and everything. Right side, left side, right, top. And then this is going to flip on top like that. See how the holes line up? So left, top. You know, the holes can basically fix it, but you can always put them on backwards like this, you know, after you cut it. So you want to know what the insides are. Let's get these bolts in just to hold our place. See that way we don't have to worry about wiggling or anything. Make sure it's tight down. And when I cut these, you can see 
They're almost perfectly aligned. And after we after we shape it, then we'll figure out how we want these to come down. If we want it to come straight here or whatever we want to do. So there's one side. And you might be saying, well, why don't you just put them together and cut them out? Well, because we already drilled the holes and we want to make sure the holes and everything line up. And we're going to cut outside the lines. Maybe even a little bit farther than outside the lines because we can always grind this down. I always forget about these two-sided pens and take both caps off. Back to our time lapse. So we still have the LT and the RT. You know, once we cut them out, they were basically self-explanatory, but let's get them cut out. So these aren't going to be removable scales, but I'm going to treat them that way until I get them shaped and figured out and how I want them. See, do you see that? That's what happens. This is an old pin. I must have used this to hit on. See, and it flared out. That's what I was talking about in my last video. So it doesn't fit like that. This side fits in perfect, but it doesn't go all the way through. So I must have used the hammer and hit on that. See, I saved my old bad pivots for stuff like this. So I just have to find another one that goes all the way through. See, this one's flared too. Alright. That's why they're in the bad part. So... Yeah, you can see? It went through that one. This is the one I pulled out the back. So that's how they should go. They should both go right through. So it's not the, the holes, it's the pivot. There we go. All right. Just like that. So, well, we want to hit these in. Well, let's see what we got first. So. There we go. We're going to tap them down even. And we don't come all the way through. We don't want to flare those out again. See now it's on there, on there nice and tight. It's not coming off. To the horizontal grinder. All right, I just took them off. Now I'm gonna put them together. So I got these together. I'm gonna actually put a spacer between so they don't rock back and forth. And so they don't get stuck together because these are really tight. And if I hammer them together, it'll be almost impossible to get them apart. So I just got that one little spacer and they're nice and even. So that's it. I'm just gonna draw it on one side and let's go take this off. All right, and just like that, bam, they're all together. Now we just have to shape it and kind of round it out here. I can do that all on the disc grinder. And then we'll have to put them back together again and do the fronts. We want to make sure they're like 95% done before we put the epoxy and the pins in. But we're pretty close. Well, that's about it for this. The next one, we're going to shape it up and then glue it and get it all finished. So hopefully you all liked it. Sorry again about the live stream on Sunday. I hope to get it fixed by next Sunday. Thank you for all the support. I'm going to change my outro. Like if you like this. If you don't, dislike it. But if you dislike, do me a favor and leave me a comment why. It's fine if you don't like these videos. 
but please give me some feedback on how to fix them. That's gonna be my new outro. Because it's okay to dislike me and dislike stuff I do. Please let me know what I can do to improve. Alright, as always, all the links are down below. Amazon, knives, and shirts. Hope you all are having a great day. And as always, take it easy.